If you are working on a CNC project and you're trying to make a sign or something like that and you can't find the right kind of font, I want to show you how quick and easy it is to get free fonts for your project that will work in any software that you're working with so long as it can interpret the fonts that are installed on your computer. So let's get started. So here we are at the computer and we are in the vCarve desktop software program. Now, just so you know, you can use any program that interprets the fonts in your computer. So just follow along. So let's just say I want to type in a word. This is a, the nickname of my friend, Shades. And I'm going to make a little sign for her that says this name. However, the problem is, I don't have a font on my computer that I want to use that's, that's going to work for me. I want to use something a little modern. So let's go and get some other fonts that's in your computer. That's a little too girly for shades. That doesn't even look like an S. Anyway, let's see if we can find a font. I am going to show you exactly where I get my fonts from for free. So here's what you do. You go over to your Google search, type in Google fonts, do a search. And the first thing that will come up are Google fonts, browse fonts. So click into that, and here are a bunch of Google fonts and there are a buttload of them so it actually takes a while to scroll through but let's just pick one out so I can show you exactly how to do this keep this video short so let's just take this one Russell one so what you do is you click on it and you decide you like it, so you select this style right here. Now, what that's going to do, that's going to put that into a, uh, basically a box that you can download the entire thing. Let's say there's other fonts that you want. So, we back up and start scrolling through some more until we find another cool font that we like. And I'm just going to pick Allegrea. And that's actually kind of boring. We don't want to go with that. That's different. We'll do with uh, Great Vibes. I already got that loaded in. Yeah, I mean, some of them look kind of the same, but I don't want to take too long here. So let's take Sacramento. That's pretty cool. I think I've got that. Let's take one I don't have. Prate. Okay, so we're taking Prate. We're going to select that group too. Now, you can go back and forth and select as many fonts as you want. So for now, we just have two. And when you're done, you hit download all. That's coming in as a family. Now it's downloaded into your computer. Go to show folder. Now, just so you know, I use a PC. I don't know how this works in Mac. So this is what we've just downloaded right here, the very first one on the list. So that's highlighted. We're going to go up and hit extract it and extract all. Now. It's going to come up with the file, so let's go ahead and extract it. So it's downloads, Prado, Rust 1, and that's where we're going to. Now it opens up a folder. These two folders are what we want to get into. So let's go to the Prado one, open up that folder, and you have two things. First is a text file. That's basically the open license file. It says you can use this font for anything you want. This is the one that you want, the Prado regular with, the, with this particular picture on it and it's a uh, true type font file right click it click the file and then right click it and you'll see install so click the install button and that is now installed on your computer so we're gonna hold on to Prado and we're gonna install the other one so you just come back open up the next folder and install that one So now they're both installed. Let's go over to my vCarve program. We're going to close out of that. Now we're going to click that again, and we are going to check our fonts. Now you go to your font list, and we want Prado. So I'm going to pick P, and where are my P's? There we are. There we are. Come on. 
oh, look, there's Russ 1 right there, and there's Prada. So if we click Prada, it changes that font to basically the same font that we had before, and there's Russ 1. So now you see how this works. I might actually use this uh, text, this font. This font is now in your computer, and any program in your computer that interprets the font on your computer, will, this will be in that list. So I hope this helps you uh, uh, expand your font list so you can make some pretty unique and awesome signs.